Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penge, and welcome to Do Not Feed the Monkeys, which is a game that I have found very difficult to classify indeed, because it's kind of like a sort of mystery type thriller thing where we are a detective and we're solving puzzles, but we're not really a detective. We're just watching people going about their lives through the application of secret cameras that we're sort of spying on them through. So it's a very odd concept. And as you can tell here, there's a kind of Illuminati-esque triangle, but in the middle, there is a monkey with one eye, the one all-seeing eye. So it's very odd. So we are part of the Primate Observation Club because we are observing primates, which is obviously human beings because we are a form of primate, I believe, which is very intriguing. So yeah, I think we'll just sort of, we'll just dive straight in. Just to want to point out, this is a beta demo, so there might be bugs, it's not finished, all that kind of stuff. So that's what we expect. But yeah, this is free to download. It's free to download. If you sign up, you can then get a link to download this little demo version of the game yourself, if you so wish. A link will be in the video description. So let's just go straight in and I'll show you what we're talking about. Okay, so before we start, we get this lovely sort of Windows 95S kind of uh, disclaimer thing popping up for the Primate Observation Club. So it's a little terms and conditions type thing. Uh, the main things that we need to remember are this one down here, point number two, to maintain your club privileges, you will be obligated to move up one level every five days, which will require you to purchase a certain number of cages. Now, the cages that they refer to are what we would refer to as cameras. So when we buy a cage, we are buying a CCTV camera which points at something that we are then kind of watching and investigating. Number three, you will start at level one, friend of the monkeys. I like being a friend of the monkeys. You will need to purchase five additional cages to move up to the next level. So we've got five days to buy five cages. So one cage a day how expensive the cages? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Um, if we mess up, we get kicked out. Don't talk about it with anybody. <laughs> don't talk about it ever, ever. Don't remove the application that they're going to put on our computer. And do not feed the monkeys. I accept. Yes, let's get on with it. So day one is going to begin and we're going to be sat in front of a computer. So I've played a tiny bit of this just to get the idea of how it works just to get the concept of how it all fits together. Monkey Vision 2.1 is installed, which is the thing that we need. And here we are. We're in a little sort of apartment or flat or house or something. And this is our computer. And if we scroll over to the right, this is where we live. So we've got a bed, there's bare shelves, there's a coffee machine and there's a fridge because as well as having this stuff over here, we also have to look after ourselves. We have a set of stats. We have health, we have tiredness and we have hunger and we have money as well. So we can use this. We can nip out to the shops. We can go and buy ourselves some fruit and yogurt and stuff. There's fast food just here. And these are little sort of job things that we can go and do. Little tiny jobs that we can go and do to get some money. That pays us $84, but it's an eight hour shift, which is quite a long time. So let's go back here and let's load up monkey vision and we'll have a look at what we're doing. Okay. So these are the different cages. So yes, they're just sort of cameras. Now this one up here, somebody is doing something in number one. So let's go and have a look at that. Now, I just accidentally clicked on something there. But what we want to do is we want to click on things that are of interest and they are highlighted in yellow. So they might be things that are static or they might be words that are popping up. So, okay, now topless. Terrific. They just clicked on. I think I just missed it there. Um, oh, no. It's, it's telling me how to play it. Okay, let's click on those. So flash and dollars came up. Also, the word topless did come up, but unfortunately, I did not click on it in time. So come on, show me everything, show me everything. That's it. That was great, Joe. My favourite star. Okay. So you're pointing a camera, which is lit up, out the window. You really know how. You take my breath away. I'll be waiting for you at two o'clock, beauty. Okay, so two o'clock, that person is going to come back. Right, let's just get all these little things. There's a box there that's lit up. What's that? That's a hat. Anything else lit up? What's that? Uh, skis? Okay, bit weird, skis. Uh, right, also there's a little thing up here. Somebody is calling me. There's an app called Chat Me Go. Uh, ah, right, okay, this is just an introductory person that just says, hello, how are you? Are you getting on with it? blah de blah de blah So let's skip through this. Yeah, essentially they just say, hello, uh, remember to get the cages or you'll be kicked out, and also eat and rest and all that kind of stuff. Right, if that person's coming back at 2 o'clock, I think right now is a good time to nip out and get some food because in the fridge we've got... Whatever that is, some sort of hot dog that gives us 12 food and minus 2 health. And we've got an apple. So I think it's probably a good idea if we nip out to the shop and just get some stuff. 
because it takes half an hour to walk there, half an hour to walk back. So let's get a chicken, a couple of yogurts, a couple of bits of fruit. In fact, should we get one of each, uh, three of each of those? Three, th uh, three fruit, three yogurt, one chicken, an hour journey. Let's go out to the shop. So we need to nip out to the shop. Walking, 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 shopping. I don't think we need a shopping trolley for those <laughs> seven things I just bought. But there we go. The fridge is nicely stocked. We are down to $45. We need to go and do one of those job things, really, at some point. We need to go and do that. Right, and now we can come back here. So what else is going on? Let's have a look at our other cages slash cameras. This is just chickens. Um, I mean, this is the most exciting camera to watch. Maybe something happens at night time. Maybe there's a fox or a person prowling or stealing the eggs or something. I don't really know. This thing here does have some things to click on. It's got, what's that? Bust and visitors. But other than that, there is nothing else for us to click on. Oh, hang on. What was that? A Menephemonis something or other. Okay, that was well timed, wasn't it? What does that do? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think the other person's back. No, go go away. I don't, I'm not interested in that kind of stuff. Back away from the browser. I'll show you that in a bit. I think camera number one is kicking into life. Yes, the person has come back. So we can see here camera number one or cage number one or whatever is flicking. There's some lights flashing on and off. Come on, cotton princess. Give me everything you've got. What is a cotton princess? You're very odd. Oh, we can click on the mouse. Make that cash register sing. Go on, a little gift for your fans. You're pure gold, darling. Pure gold. Okay. A little bit strange. In front of the mirror, beautiful and photogenic. Fantastic as always. There's someone knocking at the door. Can you go away, please? I'm very busy. You're much much more modest in my limousine. In my limousine? You've got a limo. Okay. Without a doubt, the hottest door in the firmament. Next session's in a few hours, honey. Okay. A few hours. Uh, right. So what's that? Sort of uh, going to be six o'clock in the evening or something? Right, let's go and see who was at the door. They left a... Yes, they left a note. There we go. What's on the door? Where are you, deadbeat? Remember that I'm coming by to collect the rent in two days in the afternoon. $90 as usual. Have the money ready. I don't want excuses. The landlady. Oh, dear. The landlady is cross with us. Uh, our food is 87. Food and tiredness. Let's just have... What's our health like? Our health is absolutely fine. I don't think we need to eat or sort of have anything like that right now. I don't think we need to do that right now. So let's have a look and see if we can tie any of these things together. Right, okay, skip past the tutorial a bit. So when you click on the words, it groups them together into little sort of similar kind of categories. So flash, mirror, camera, photographs, all that kind of stuff is linked together. What you can do is you can click on the word and it takes you to prowl, prowl search. And you can search on Thinternets and have a look for things. And you can combine some words together. So you could go camera and photographs, search. But obviously it's not going to show everything. It's going to show you relevant things. So flash and a, a flash and camera. Didn't find anything. Flash. But that's just saying, yeah, about a camera with things in it. So that's not very exciting. Anything down here? Cotton Princess. What is Cotton Princess? A box office record for the premiere of Cotton Princess 3. It's a film. The third and final movie of the saga, a box office of the saga, a box office, a hit in its first weekend. Okay, somebody needs to learn how to write for the memorial, but okay. Right, so we can click movie, the film, based on the life of its, of its famous leading lady and hordes of teens. So it's a teen film, right you are. So, okay, now that's all come up down there. So we can link these things together. So if we click these question marks here, it gives us a sort of a selection of things which we might want to consider link them together. So this says basement, attic apartment, or parking goes. Well, I don't think it looks very much high up to me. Yeah, that's pointing out of a window. That's pointing out of a window and the roof's sort of slanted. So I would say, to click on that, that is an attic apartment. Ah, and the person has come back. Hello. Also, I'm going to say this is a lady because there is a hint of the cleavage just there. There is a hint of the cleavage going on. Ah, topless. Yes, there we go. Right, I've clicked that word. Adorable as always. Ka-ching, another dollar and another and another. Your fans are going to go wild. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> what who are you looking at? You're very, very odd. Okay, hey, we're going to floor it. Thanks, thanks. You keep making car references. You're the leading lady of my dreams. Come on, look at the camera. Wonderful. You're just a strange person. Hmm, you've never shown that to me in the limousine. Yes, you keep mentioning a limousine. You keep mentioning this, and I'm not entirely sure why. Here comes a fistful of dollars. Okay, excellent. We'll continue just before bedtime. Honey. 
<laughs> okay. You're going to walk away. Right, so I think they're in an attic apartment. Um, we've got limousine and floor it. What does that bring up? Nothing. What does floor it bring up? Six out of ten drivers unable to identify the brake pedal. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a smashed car. Certain driving video games are causing a sharp rise in traffic incidents. Okay, oh, that's an email popping in. Volunteer observation studies. It's from the Primate Observation Club sort of site itself. As a club member, we invite you to collaborate in wildlife <laughs> observation studies. To do so, you need to provide us with information about some of the cages loaded into your monkey vision. Once it's correct, you'll get compensated. Their voluntary assignments and declining to participate will not affect your relationship. Okay, but it's probably worth doing because otherwise, why would they mention it in the first place? Right, that's gone dark. Okay, that's that's okay. Right, what can we do with this then? Um, let's search. Oh, Cotton Princess leading lady. Who is the leading lady of Cotton Princess? Ashley Applegate. Okay, let's click her. Andrew Haynes is uh, the management person. And there is a phone number. Okay. Right. So Ashley Applegate is the person that this crazy lady here is taking pictures of with a really, really long range camera out of a window of an attic through presumably her window or her hotel room or something. Okay, so that's Ashley Applegate. Oh, okay. If you have a contact in your notebook, you can use a telephone or chat by clicking the corresponding icon. Remember, the chat also lets you send videos. Okay, uh, right. What do we do with this then? What's that? Sneaked photos, artistic nude shots or selfies. Well, it's sneaked photos. It's absolutely sneaked photos. And limousine, floor it, and cap. Uh, a cap? Cap and a limousine? A cap would imply... That she, uh, is it? Hang on. What type of cap is it? What what kind of cap? Oh, I can't see. It's too dark. Like limo drivers do wear a cap. She could be a limousine driver. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. We'll find out. Now we need to go and look at these dishwashers available until midnight. That oh we can't have that because we haven't got the requirements and that's not available. We need to make sure we get that and have an eight hour kind of thing. Right. Have some more coffee, please. That'll do. And another glug of coffee. <laughs> Splendid. Okay. I think we might have missed this because I said they were coming back before bed. But I think they might have gone to bed already. No, no, there they are. Right, could you hurry up and do more talking, please? Because I need to go and wash some dishes as a dishwasher job, please. Camera action, let's go. Smile for me, gorgeous. I would love to take you to Paris on my limousine. I get it. You've got a limousine. Stop going on about it. Let's break the speed limit. A gorgeous chassis, darling. You're just a strange individual. Okay, the dollars keep raining down with every flash. Okay, so I think, is that going to be everything we can get from you right now? Uh, come on, Cotton Princess, show me what you'd show the prince. Can you hurry up a little bit? Hurry up, because I want to go and get a job washing dishes. Get on with it. Uh, drive all the way to the stars. Great, great. See you tomorrow, gorgeous. Uh, okay, right, that's finished. I think we need to go and do this really, really urgently right now. To get ourselves $84 or we will not be able to pay the landlady. So let's just go and do that right now. That's a quick job. A dishwasher job. Yeah, we go and do some work. That's fine. Now what time do we come back? I wonder what time it's going to be when we come back in. Um, regional scrubbing and rinsing manager. <laughs> what a good job. That wasn't bad considering your limited experience. But you still have to master the noble art of scouring. Keep applying yourself and you'll go far. Come back when you want to improve your technique. Okay, so what time is it? 7.10 in the morning. Okay, that's not bad. What's my health like? 96. Well, let's eat... I don't know, does that give us health? Yeah, let's eat a couple of bits of fruit. And that has moved our hunger up a tiny bit and got our health back up, which is lovely. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Uh, let's have a look through here then. Uh, ah, we can do this. Break the speed limit. Search that. Six out of ten people are unable to do the thing. Um, what was that little bleeping noise for? Anything exciting going on? Oh, I should have watched that one overnight a bit, shouldn't I? I might need to watch this one overnight just to see what's going on. Okay, never mind. Right. Okay, so what can we link these together with? So security guard, paparazzi, or driver? Uh, well, I... I don't, I don't think they're paparazzi. I don't think they're paparazzi. They keep mentioning cars. And they've got a limousine, and they've got a, like a limousine sort of driver's cap. I would suggest that they are a limousine driver. Maybe Ashley Applegate's limousine driver. Let's call this man and see what happens. Let's call you. Call Mr. Mr. Man. 
who looks after them. We are not are we not available to take your call at the moment. Our working hours are 9 to 11. Okay, that's fine. There is a little sort of uh, clock thing up here ticking around. I assume that's ticking around to 9 o'clock. I'm going to guess it is. Okay, maybe stuff starts at 9 or whatever. Are people going to come into here? Day 2, your current club ranking is level 1, friend of the monkeys. Days remaining until the next evaluation. 4, you have 4 out of 9 cameras needed. Okay, so the landlady will be back tomorrow. Uh, news, electric campaigns, the Corsairs, playoffs, la da da I don't know how relevant that stuff is. There is a chicken coming in. That's lovely. Uh, we have ourselves an email. Record low prices. Two for one on yogurt. Oh, that's good. We can get some yogurt. That'd be nice. Right, can we ring this man? Let's go and ring this man and see what happens. We can say, we think there's some dodgy person in an attic taking pictures of your, your um, superstar. Um, hello, Andrew Haynes, talent agent. How can I help you? Um, ah, okay, right. I can roll over these and it says things. Uh, you see, I was curious about who Ashley Applegate's driver is. Yes, okay. Ask that. Ashley's driver is the famous wonder driver. That's in yellow. Oh, okay. I, I should might as well to click that. That's what she chooses to call herself. She's a loving and lovable woman. She's had a lot of exposure in the press lately. I'm sure you'll be able to find something about her out there. Okay. Oh, there's a little timer. Okay. Um, sneaked photos. How is, is she into nudism? Okay. <laughs> Let's just go straight in. Let's really irritate him. No, of course she isn't. Ashley's one of the most modest actresses of her generation. Well, someone is taking photos of her. What the hell are you saying? We were waiting for the right offer for that. Do you know who the person is who's taking those pictures? I think it's the driver. If the driver's a lady, and they just said it was, because they said she's the wonder driver or something. Yes, the driver? As far as I know, it's a very own driver. I can't believe it. Leslie Dooley, the traitorous driver. Thanks for letting us know. A mask where these photos are being taken from. Oh, and ah, this is what you use these little things for. An attic apartment from an attic apartment across the street from her house. Okay, I'll make a note of that. I have to put this right away. If your information checks out, I'll get back to you. Bibbly bobbly boo. Cage one is now pending. Is that good? Is that a good thing? Um, okay, I'll have to sit and see what's happening there. But yes, all this is pending whilst that happens. Right, who is Amanophis V? Pharaoh belonging to the Seven Dynasty, uh, existed between 2,000 and 2,500 years before our time. Priceless is a word that is ticked. Uh, priceless bust, like that. No results. Visitors, Amanophis. At the Pharaoh exhibition, an overwhelming success. The bust of that, 10,000 visitors. The Central Museum, Kevin Elgin, the curator. Okay. So Central Museum, let's search for that. Hexa fails to acquire the Central Museum. Bid to purchase the institution is rejected. Okay, right. Let's look after ourselves for a little bit. Let's go and eat. We've got this chicken thing. That's 15 food. That's quite good. I would say go and grab 15 food. That's lovely. Do we just go and get ourselves a job for a little while? Or do we leave that for later on? We could have a little sleep. Although, yeah, 68 out of 100. We could walk to the shop. We could walk to... I've got an email. I've got an email. Special observation in cage three. Ah, that's that's what we're looking at now. That's what we're looking at. Dear member, the club is conducting an important study. We request your collaboration. Please reply to this email if you know the following question. What is the telephone number of the person for the event taking place? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I think I can find that out. I think I could probably find that out if I search for Kevin Elgin. I can grab that phone number from this directory thing. Okay, yeah, it's six three two nine five five six six. I don't have to remember that, do I? Don't don't tell me I have to engage my brain and remember that, because um, yeah, that, that that's not going to happen. Uh, where where are my emails? Shrink that mail. Special observation. Yes, it's oh yeah, there you go. You pick that. Yeah, there. Yes, I do want to send the email. Cage three is now pending. Okay, please check your inbox. Okay, so now I've got two cages that are pending. So cage three is pending, and cage one is pending. The other ones are chickens and some sort of machine. So the chickens don't seem to do anything. There's nothing for me to click on. Nothing happens. And the machine thing just merrily just does its thing all day and all night. It just carries on doing machiney things. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to do with that. Okay, so it's 12.55. It's in the afternoon. Is the landlady going to come today or tomorrow? I could do with going to the shop. 
Uh, oh, yogurt's two for one. Oh, let's go and get... Yeah, let's get... Let's stock up on yogurt whilst we're there. So that's another... What's that? Uh, yeah, let's spend $12 on yogurt. Delicious yogurt. And we might need to buy a bit of coffee because we're getting low on the coffee, I noticed. So spend $18. That's that's okay. Do you know what? Get another two yogurts in. Go for a walk to the shop. Walky, walky, walks. Oh, I've just got back and my phone's ringing. Hello, 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 I'm Andrew Hayes. I represent Ashley Applegates. Yes, indeed, I remember you. I want to say thank you for the information about the sneaked photos. I've notified the police. We don't have to worry about anyone invading the privacy anymore. At least until she's old enough to do, give her consent for that sexy magazine cover I already committed to. <laughs> you silly man. Great. Uh, you receive it in a few hours. Oh, oh my goodness. Right, okay, these words are very quick. I think I'm getting sent a nice thing. And they're looking for a new driver. Okay, wow. Okay, they really don't mess about with those words there, do they? Good grief. Okay, fine. So now number one is closed. That cage is now done and dusted. So we don't have to worry about cage one anymore. That's finished. So cage one is done. It's sorted. We don't need to care about that. Okay, that's fine. Any other email things going on? No. Um, okay, let's have... We've got 11 yogurts. Uh, what's our health like? 99. Well, let's eat one yogurt and let's just try and grab... A little bit of sleep. Let's maybe sleep for a couple of hours just to uh, try and top up our tiredness meter a little tiny bit. Um, yeah, there you go. That's not too bad. Oh, and knock, knock, knock. Oh, you're not the landlord. Hello, I'm Amy and this is my colleague Ted. We're apostles of the local Wylands Witnesses Church. Do you have a minute to have about the word of Billy Bob the Holy Butcher? Uh, no, I'm, I'm very busy. I'm very sorry. No way. Oh, that's a shame. You don't know what you're missing. I probably do. Uh, before we go, we'd like to ask you a favour. We're going to leave this beautiful plant with you. Would you take care of it? Oh, God, do I have to? I'm probably just going to kill it. Uh, we'll come back, take it away in a few days. And if you're worthy, uh, it's too, it's very fast. And don't worry about watering it. The plant gets its nourishment from the love and kindness floating in the air in the room. What are you talking about? We'll return soon. Okay. Bye-bye. I did notice there was a sign on the door. What's that say? Mailman bring package and you not here. Tomorrow come back 10 to 12 with same package. The mailman. <laughs> okay, so I need to be here between 10 and 12. Currently, nothing to do in terms of monkey vision. So shall I just go and do a job? Uh, that's a couple of hours. $24 for a couple of hours. Airport luggage handling. That's 24 hours a day. Well, that's four hours, $52. Coming to work fully rested, not napping on the counter. Okay, well, that's okay. Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. I might miss the landlady is the only worry. But that should get me some money in. And that means I can buy a cage. Right, the landlady hasn't given me a, a little notice on the door, so that's fine. The manager. This is the manager of the little shop I went to. Your sense of style is terrible. Terrible. But I've never seen a worse look. But you didn't fall asleep. And we can't afford anyone better, so come back when you like. Oh, good. <laughs> Yay. So now we've got extra money, so we should be able to buy. I think that's buy, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So I'd sort of investigated this little bit uh, when I sort of did my little trial run. So um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's buy a new cage for fifty dollars, uh, and it's going to start at nine o'clock. Okay, so we've got an extra feed. Hang on, the statue looks. Did the statue always look slightly gawky-eyed like that, or has that changed? Did I just not notice that the statue looks a little bit kind of wonky-eyed and has got a slightly curious smile on it? Okay, whatever. I wouldn't mind more money to go and get another one of those. What time is it? 11 o'clock. Let's go to... Let's purchase another cage. Yes. Absolutely. Two more of those. We need three more. Uh, hunger and stuff is being a bit depleted. So let's eat that thing like that. And then a bit of fruit and a couple of yogurts just to bosh the hunger back up. Then let's have some coffee for tiredness reasons. And then what's this? Airport luggage handlers. Four hours, $48. Let's go and do that. Strong muscles, concentration. Yeah, whatever. We can give it a go. <laughs> we'll try. They might never have us back again because we're rubbish. But we can certainly give it a good shot. Okay. No notice on the door. Stayed awake. Focus and active for your entire shift. Can't complain about your work. You've earned your pay. Lovely. Thank you very much. So I got a little bit tired, but now I've got $107 and I can pay the landlady when she comes around at some point. There's that plant. Can I just get rid of it? I don't really trust that plant being there. It's 3.55 in the morning. Nothing's going on. Let's just check. Is anything happening in the land of the chickens? 
I just look at there's nothing to click on. The chickens are worrying me because I feel like I should be noticing something about the chickens, but I am not. Um, okay. Well, why don't we? What time is it? 4.20. Why don't we just sleep for four hours? Just have a four-hour sleep. Oh, yes, that's very good. That's tremendous. And we've got a bit of food sort of need going on. Let's have one, two, three, four yogurts. Delicious. Delicious yogurts. Right, and the interesting thing is these cameras here... Uh, these sorry, cages. I'm sorry, don't, don't kick me out for calling them uh, cameras. These cages are going to ping into life at nine o'clock. It's the third day, and I only need three more of those. So yeah, level one, friend of the monkeys, days remaining to a next evaluation, three days. I've got six out of nine. The landlady will be back today. So I need to stick around for today. Oh, look! <laughs> Arrested for taking nude photos of actress Ashley Applegate. Yes, there they are. The wonder driver, Leslie Dooley, was taking them. Okay. Mega HD ultrasounds arrive. Okay. Personalised version of Prowl and a dirty and hotly contested election. Okie doke. Okay, so we've got two new cameras. One is at an airport or possibly a military base, maybe. Another one is in a uh, sort of a front room by the look of it. We've got three emails. Routine observation in three. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah, we guessed one the number. Transferred $70 to me. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I'll take $70. Oh, yeah, lovely. Deal of the day, hot dogs, cage recording available. Please inform me that for the modest sum of $20, you can unlock your Monkey Visions recording add-on. To do so, click the red button on the panel on the right-hand side of the application and follow the instructions. Monkey Visions recording add-on. Click the red button on the panel on the right-hand side of your application. Where's that? Oh, and another email. Thumbnail panel. We remind you that you can use a Monkey Vision thumbnail panel to make observation tasks easier to use it to right-click your cages. Oh, yes. Okay, right. So that goes there. Oh, hang on. Let's do that. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm here. Right. Let's see what you want. Okay, this person here is giving me some very cryptic nonsense about actually feeding the monkeys. Given the game is called Do Not Feed the Monkeys, I possibly feel like I shouldn't. But this person here is saying, ah, yes. Well, you know, things become easier if you, you know, feed the monkeys. I don't know how. How do I feed the monkeys? How do I feed this airport or whatever it is just there? I'm not entirely sure. Right, okay, I've got to go. Bibbly bub, did I take your advice? Yes, I've looked I've looked after myself. It's absolutely fine. I'm possibly a bit hungry, but other than that, it's all good. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing to click on here. A plane did just go by. Okay, so not that. Oh, can we click on the plane? Can we click on anything to do with this plane? It's a fairly expansive plane. That is a, that is a big, like, big jetliner of some sort. Okay, so not that. The feed is also rubbish. It's all very wibbly and wobbly. I don't think that it looked like that, did it? That's been swapped out. Surely that's been swapped out for a fake. That can't be a real exhibit. Come on. And um, what's going on here then? Oh, look. That's got all police tape around it. That's quite nice. What is this room then? Oh, oh, oh. Someone's knocking. Someone's knocking. Hello. It's the postman. Hi, postman. I bring package for apartment 16. I bring package for apartment 16. All right, mate. It's here. Yes, hello. Well... Take package. Three autographed photos by the famous actress and singer Ashley Applegate with the dedication to a very special fan. Ah, I've got pictures. Can I sell them? Sell for 160. Absolutely. I don't want them. Yes, I've got 160 monies. Okay, right. Let's go back into here and just see what's going on. Uh, ah, right, okay. A picture of kittens. That is some books. Oh, VHS tapes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, have we got some weirdo? VHS tapes weirdo person. Nothing much going on there. And a TV. Okay. Nothing much else going on in there, I don't think. No, nothing happening in there. The other two are still shut. So that one's closed. The, the statue one is still pending. But I didn't do anything with that. I just gave them some information via the email thing and it sort of went to pending. Uh, ah, oh, okay. Right, hello. There's a lady. Right, uh, a lonely man. Okay. So this is an old fella. I'm going to assume he is a lonely old man. Well, you know that I'll visit you twice a day. Okay. Are you a nurse of some description? Uh, wonderful, wonderful. What good news. Okay, right. So he is uh, from uh, not an English-speaking place, I would assume. Uh, not your health. Uh, old man, yes. Thank you very much. Old man. I always sick. And your mood. 
I would say she's some sort of nurse. Uh, I'd probably think about the past. Okay, I'm assuming you're uh, German or certainly sort of Eastern kind of uh, or Central European, possibly. The past, what did you used to do? I take care of the kittens. That's it. Okay, a lovely job. You take care of kittens. When do you arrive in our country? Yes, because he's clearly not from around here. Arriving country, I always live in this neighbourhood. I don't think you did, sir. Uh, you have a foreign accent. Right, an email's popped in, but that's fine. We'll deal with that in a second. I have to take your blood pressure medicine. Now you go! Okay. He's, he's hoofing this lady out. He's kicking her out. I haven't finished, finished filling out the form yet. Okay, so he's booting her out. You go, go! Oh dear. Okay. Fine, I'm leaving. I'll be back later at the end of my afternoon shift. Okay, so she's going to come back later. Oh, grateful and generous. A grateful and generous old man. Okay. Oh, my stomach's grumbling. Uh, I like I like to have a NOSA visit. Okay. And they're going to walk out. And that's that. Done. Okay. Anything else? Right, let's pop that into the little viewing thing in my bobber. Um, also, right, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to order me some fast food. Because hot dogs are... Oh, hang on. Hello, are you the landlady? I can pay you. I'm here for the rent. Don't make me waste my time tomorrow after I can exam for the distant business school. That'll be 90. Yep. Okay, here it is. Have your money. Nice hair. See, system works. Well, losers like you. There'll be no winners like me. I'll be back in three days. Well, aren't you a treat? Um, yeah, let's get myself some fast food. 33% off um, hot dogs. So they're $6. So yeah, let's get me, I don't know, four, five, six hot dogs. Let's get six hot dogs. Yes, absolutely. You can receive your food in one hour. If you're not home, you won't receive your order and your money is not refunded. Oh, goodness me. Right, okay, fine. That flower's got petals on it now from the love in the room or some such wiffly waffly nonsense. I don't know. Right, what was my email? Routine observation study in cage five. Where, uh, what is the address where cage five is located? That will give me $75. I have no idea. I don't know that information right now, but we need to keep an eye on cage five in case that comes obvious. Let's have a look here and see what we can do with these. So, uh, foreign accent, nothing. Kittens, old man. <laughs> Grateful and generous, nothing. Lonely old man. Oh, that's the door. That's the door. Oh, hang on. Um, uh, Okay, don't hurt me. Greetings, be one with the infinite, melt into the universe, blur the limits, prepare an antacid. The blackbirds sing in the early morning. Here's your order. Uh, okay, I'll give you a tip. Yeah, whatever, I'll give you a tip. That's cool. I'm nice. I'm cool like that. I'm a nice guy. Consider this. The grey-haired dragon guards a treasure. Even the worst monsters can have friends. I'll be back. Is that some sort of cryptic thing that I'm supposed to understand? Right, let's eat uh, a couple of those like that. In fact, you know what? Let's eat three of those to get my food back up. And then we'll just top our health back up with uh, with many yogurts. There we go. Lovely. Right. The opposition accuses Walker of abandoning the elderly. According to elderly. So the average senior is being lonely and depressed. Okay. Can we do anything else with this? Um, foreign accent depressed. <laughs> depressed old man is going to bring that same article back, I would have thought. Oh, hang on. There's a little noise there. Does that mean they're returning? No. Uh, okay. What else can we link together? TV. Nothing exciting. VHS tape. What happened to the VHS tape? Yeah, of course. It's sort of uh, non-existent anymore. Okay, what can we do with that? So, nurse, playboy, vulnerable senior. I would say right now he's a vulnerable senior. You can change your thoughts on that. But that will do for now. They are coming back. Oh, how nice to see you. It's good for an old man like me not feeling so lonely. But yeah, the guy at the door did say something about the grey-haired something or other. Uh, Mr. Statler. Okay, Mr. Statler. Okay, we've got a name. We've got a name. That's a good thing. How are you? Okay. So she's saying, how are you? Yes, I'm here. I'm happy that I'm still living, but depressed about how things are out here. Okay, so he's a bit depressed because he's old. I don't understand you. When I was young, there were values and respect. Okay. Uh, people fight and die for ideals. But now look how the world works. Okay. It, it, yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a mess. Uh, I'm not in total agreement with your opinion. Who Are you a nurse? I don't think the past was as good as you describe it. Are you like some sort of psychiatrist or something? I really don't know. I'm intrigued. Uh, the past was glorious. 
Yes, okay. I don't see what you think was so good. Okay, carry on. Uh, was blood and wars. Oh, you're not some sort of Nazi or something weird, are you? Are you some sort of Nazi? By the way, as I mentioned before, you have a foreign accent. Yes, he does. And it's very obvious. Do not try and deny it. Well, I tell you, I always live in this neighbourhood. Damn it. Stop telling lies. You're clearly a German man, I'm assuming. I always live in this house. <laughs> you are a liar. You know what? It's time for med incontinence medicine. Oh, yeah, better have that. <laughs> you go now. Okay. Oh, but... Okay, when does she come back? Go away. Go. So when does... Okay, don't get upset. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time. What time was that? Uh, I'm very happy for your visit, but now go away, go. Okay, so she's going to get booted out by him. He's going to rush her out the door, one assumes. Okay. Okay, right. Let's try and do some stuff here. Um, Mr. St oh, hang on, hang on. He's coming back. He's getting a video. He took something from that. Right, the telly is playing something. What are you watching, my good sir? Good. It's time for my movie. What are you watching? Invading a uh, um, border. <laughs> the invading army troops cross the border and launch an offensive that plunged the continent into chaos. Oh dear, you're some sort of crazy Nazi guy, are you? Okay. Uh, uh, look how young and such a black moustache. Don't tell me you're Adolf Hitler. Uh, bloodthirsty leader. <laughs> Don't tell me you're Hitler, for goodness sake. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Uh, bloodthirsty? Is that what you are? Naughty person of an inferior race? Goodness me. Uh, the Allied Army, Brunhagen River. Wow, there is all sorts coming out right now. Uh, took the city of Schroederingberg. Dashing the dreams of the bloodthirsty politician forever. Uh, crass propaganda. Okay, he's getting angry. He's getting angry. Don't know why he bothers watching it. I know understand why there's so much hate. Uh, so little understanding. And I only poor old man with a grateful and generous heart. Are you really? Are you really one of those? Uh, okay, and off. And he is presumably going to bed because it's half ten. Yeah, okay, so that goes away. The airport's all lit up now at night time. Anything to do at night time? No. Chickens? No. All that? No. Okay, let's put that back into the quick viewer thing. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's, let's, we might need to go and do a bit of employment. Uh, let's have that coffee so that gives us a bit of a boost what can we do uh poster hanger 42 dollars warehouse manager we can't do and a gas station thing is not available this is four hours let's go and get 42 dollars for just going and hanging some posters up that's absolutely fine there's no kind of requirements on it it's nice easy money okay they seem fairly happy with me that is very kind i've got some monies i'm gonna buy another cage so there we go. So I've now got seven out of nine required. That's not so bad. Right, let's go and look at this person here then. So um, uh, what do we want to link together? Uh, propaganda and allied. Allied propaganda? No, nothing. VHS and TV might make sense. Uh, oh, hang on. Mr. Statler. Search there. What are the country's most common last names? Smith. Duh, 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 duh. Um an expert commented, Kershaw, Feblen, and Statler are at the bottom of the list. Okay, but I can't find where he is. Uh, okay, what about that? Fredonia, country founded in 735. The history of Fredonia has been marked by fierce and violent nature of its different governments. Fredonia last went to war 60 years ago when its leader moved to annex several countries, embroiling the continent in a world that left 40 million dead. Oh, so you're not Hitler, but you're an equivalent of Hitler. So Fredonia is where that is. What's that? Fan of war moves, ally soldier. I think he's a crazy dictator. I think he's I think he's Mr. Fredonia man. Uh glorious past. <laughs> Let's look at that. Uh, opinion ideals. Wars. Search for me. Can you do like Wars Brunhagen or something like that? Yes, you can do that. I didn't do much though, did it? Wars Statler? No. Um, values, Statler, nothing. Uh, glorious um, ideals. Okay, okay. Don't really know uh, what to do. Schroederingberg. 
Oh, yeah, he's just that's just the capital city. Okay, so this guy, I think, I think he's the dictator of of that place, who then started a war that's killed loads of people. That's what I think he is. I think he's a crazy lunatic war man. Uh, we could probably get another camera in, couldn't we? We're paying ninety for the. Yeah, we're paying ninety for the lady. Let's do that. Yes, let's buy a new cage. Sorry, not camera, cage. Silly me. Uh, and then head that way. What time is it? 6.30. Let's try and grab two hours of sleep. Okay, so that topped our sleep up a tiny little bit. And then let's eat some of this. Yeah, let's have one of those and another one of those. And let's have an apple to try and bring our health back up a little bit. 92 out of 100. I think that is absolutely fine for that sort of thing. And these cameras are going to switch on. Day four. Your current club ranking is level one. Days remaining until the next evaluation, two. Eight out of nine cameras. The landlady will back the day after tomorrow. Okay. Cage three is now closed. Questions about the bust. Independent experts suspect the original was replaced by a forgery at some time during the exhibition. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, stated Kevin Elgin, exhibition manager. Okay. So now did that... Did I not do anything with that then? Did I not achieve anything with that? Because, I mean, people are still going to see it. People are still going to see it. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, ah, right, that's doing something. There's a little train. Antique locomotive. There is a windmill. There's some fields. It looks very pretty. There is a little farm. There's a sort of satellite dish antenna thingamajigger. So this camera is moving back and forth. This camera is moving around. We have not got one of these before. Okay. So, nothing much going on there other than that right now. Okay. Right, where can we put that back into there? Uh, oh, knock, knock, knock. Hello. Oh, God. Hello. Who are you? Hello. What a scorcher, eh? I'm sweating in my apartment all day. That's nice. Look, fill my bathroom. No, thank you. I'm <laughs> fine. Um, come on. What is it you want? Yeah, come on. Tell me quick, because I'm, I'm busy looking at cameras. Uh, you see, I just remember my rent is due and things are very tight at the moment. Could you lend me a few bucks? Uh, okay, here you go. Yeah, let's give you six bucks. Absolutely. Here you go. I'm nice like that. Hopefully you can tell me something really good. Thanks, my friend. I know I can count on you. I'm going back to my apartment. Okie doke. Right. I assume I will get something for that a bit later on. Right. Something is pinged. Something is pinged. Uh, we got an email. Ah, there's something going on just here. This camera is doing something. We've got a bead on this guy down here just in case something happens. You are doing some very frantic typing on there. But I'm not entirely sure why. Let's try and figure out what the uh, little train one was. So antique locomotive. Let's search that. That antique locomotive was going to derail sooner or later. Oh, okay. So he's referring to... Actually, yeah. Not actually talking about a train. Okie doke. Uh, antenna. That just tells me a bit about an antenna. Antenna and a windmill. Nothing. Antique locomotive antenna. The old hay train is back on track. Circular train was built in 19th century restored. Okay, let's get old hay train. Ah, okay. Let's search for that then. Anderson City Main Station, Sharp Mountains Gorge, Browning Fields, Wet Willow Wood Sawmill. So the old hay train is a little train thing that is doing stuff. Okay, that's cool. Ow! Oh, no, no, no. They're there. They're there. They're there. Okay, right. Yes. Let's see if we can listen to you a bit more. Mr. Statler, right? Yeah, come on. Yes, I am him. Go on, give us some more information. How is your health today? Any extra information we're going to get for this? My body is sick and broke, you know. Okay, go on, give us some more information. Give us some more information. Where are you? Where are you in the world? Remembering the past, those glorious days. Get rid of the email things. People adoring me. And now, look at me. Indeed, you're an old man. You're an old man there. Come to my notes, Miss Stutley. You take care of kittens. Do I find highly dubious? No, you did not. Yes, ahem, that is what I say. <laughs> Indeed. You silly man, those kittens, they follow me and love me. I'm sure they do. What's behind that? Oh, it is very late. No, I don't understand the obsession with the past, Mr. Statler. Anything else? Oh, someone's knocking. In my opinion, it was a terrible time. Oh, who's knocking on the door? Who's knocking on the door? Ah, oh, let's go and open the door. Oh, it's the postman. Hello, bring a package for 36. That's not for me, I'm going to be honest. Oh, I mistake number. I was mistake number. Right, back we go. Passwords of our time of values and all that kind of stuff. Oh, cruelty, violence. We'll have those words ticked. Thank you very much. That's good. The bottom left camera is doing something as well. Uh, cruelty, they have weak character. 
Uh, there's wars and genocide. Let's go there. Your numbers look good, bad. Uh, bankruptcy. I'm missing all your ones. I'm going to flip between the two. Genocide is a very bad word. Uh, oh, look. Incontinence pills. Right. Okay. Quick. Just click anything on this screen. Click anything. I need to get back to him. I've missed most of what he was talking about, which is a shame. I've missed most of that money. Okay. And you're just... Back before it gets dark. Check on you. Okay. So she's going to go back and see him. And that's what we've sort of seen already. Uh, advice. Okay. So you are giving monetary advice. Oh, my goodness me. It's hard to manage all these different cameras all of a sudden. We need to close one of these two or three off. Okay, so we can finish off Mr. Statler's little thing here. The past was great. The past was horrible. The past is irrelevant. I think the past is great is exactly what he thinks. He likes the past. Maybe he's not a vulnerable senior. Maybe he is a nurse, a playboy, or a vulnerable senior. Okay, no, I think he is a vulnerable senior. A Fredonia and a crazy dictator. That is exactly what I think. That is what I think he is. I don't think there is anything particular that we need to worry about with him. I don't know what else we need to do with all the other stuff. Right, let's move that out of the way. Mail-wise, uh, two for one on pizzas. Study in cage five. Uh, where Where is the address for cage five? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not sure. Unless it's Fredonia. That's the only other option I've got. Is it worth going for that? Am I getting five quid for it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's have a guess. Let's have a little guess. Maybe it is in Fredonia. Um, tiredness levels are not very acceptable. I don't like that. Two for one on pizzas. Delicious, delicious pizzas. Um, do we have time to go to the shop? We've got that one sorted. That was the middle one here. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, let's look for this. And do you know what? We might need to have a little sleep. We might need to have a sleep because we're just going to collapse from tiredness at some point. We're half tired. Uh, can we go and do a job? Uh, potato chip taster. Coming to work a little bit hungry. Mm, not really. That's not available for the hours. That we can't do. Um, okay, let's try that. Let's go and get $38 for four hours work. Okay, they're very happy with me. That is splendid news. I ate some food, so it did that. So that's nice. Um, I'll also top my food up with that. But now I'm getting a little bit unhealthy. And also, I'm very, 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 very tired. I'm really tired. So I think I might need to have a proper actual sleep. Let's go to sleep for six hours. Oh, that has worked wonders. That is beautiful. Right, is it still two for one for pizzas? I am all for grabbing two pizzas. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll have that, please. Thank you very much. Okay, let's now, while we wait for the pizzas to arrive. Ooh, okay, is there anything at night time that changes here? Um, let's have a look at this here. So bankruptcy and debts, nothing. Money and debts, no. Advice, debts advice, no. Bankruptcy advice, anything that sort of links together. Money numbers, nothing particularly standing out there. Anderson City is there on a map pin. Okay, right. Sharp Mountains. Um, okay, nothing particularly exciting. So-called Soot Massacre of the area. Okay. Browning Fields. He's on a map marker. And Wet Willow Woods on a map marker. I need to just go and get the pizza. Oh, it's you again. Hello. Greetings. I heard we're going to have killer heat today. Killer, you have no idea what it means to be dead. Here's your order. You are very curious. Here's a tip. Give me some inspiring things. Consider this. All three are the same and the sixth one is the key. You poor things. There won't be enough flies for all those bars. I'll be back. I don't know what you're talking about, you lunatic. I genuinely don't understand. And wet willow woods. I think our camera thing for camera number eight, uh, sorry, cage number eight, is here. Because there's yellowy fields. There's yellow fields looking out at that train track. I don't think the other ones, it's not in Anderson City, don't they? No, that's in the middle of a city. So the camera isn't there. I don't think it's in... The, oh, we don't get to see the mountains. I don't think it's at Wet Willow Woods. Because that's kind of greenery and it's not sort of trees, is it? I would say that it's browning fields. So if the camera was sort of positioned where that pin is, for example, it'll be looking out over there at the yellow fields and then the train thing in the background. However, I don't know what to do with that particular piece of information. What I am going to do is I am going to buy the final cage. So yes, let's buy cage nine. And in the morning, that will ping into life, which is very, very lovely. And right now, I've got nothing much to do. So I could either walk to the shop 
to get some fruit to try and get my health back up, or I could have a sleep. But my tiredness is okay. Let's go and just get some uh, some fruit and yogurt. Let's do that. Let's spend twenty dollars. So I want to keep ninety for the landlady just in case she's cross with me. Let's go and do that. Have a little walk out to the shop. Nice early morning stroll to the shop. Go and do that. There we go. No notices on the door. I've got some nice stuff. So let's eat a bit of fruit and a bit of yogurt just to top my health up a tiny little bit. Okay. And day five has arrived. Your current club ranking level one. Days remaining to evaluation one. We've got nine out of nine cameras. We've got all the cameras done. The landlady is back tomorrow. And we have ourselves $103 to pay the landlady. Dave Clark is the only candidate opposing Walker who's going for president. There's a little person there. Results of the first survey on emotions published. Right, you are. The country should opt for political continuity. Declared huge. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking at those or not. Right, okay. A little emaily thing. Routine observation study. Uh, oh, we forget to inform you the information sent us is erroneous. Okay, so that's not the address he was at. I sent the country, didn't I? Never mind, never mind. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, delete that. That's fine. Club evaluation reminder. Uh, we've got nine cages. Absolutely. So we've got that sorted. The only thing is then, so the last things are what is going on in cage eight. Uh, oh, and cage nine is uh, is on. And it's some sort of... Some sort of uh, freeway, as I would call it, in America. But I can't click on anything. Don't really know what that's all about. I'm not entirely sure. But what I do want to do is, I want to put that into the corner. So I think that's going to be of some use. Right, ah, aha, right, you've come in. Okay, right, let's read this email quick. Record prices on coffee, right, okay. <laughs> Low prices on coffee, right, you are jolly good. Okay, so you still need to figure out the mystery of Mr. Statler haven't figured him out yet and I don't really know what to do. I, I, I feel like there should be another thing up here. Another sort of uh, box thing up here for us to fill in. But I don't know. But what is he on about the kittens for? Schrodingberg kittens? Oh, is it something to do with Schrodinger's cat? Is that some sort of... Is that some sort of thing that I'm supposed to be... Supposed to be linking together? Brunagen border. Schrodingen border. Whatever it is. Um, okay, and there's something missing in there as well. It feels like there's another word missing in there. Because that links to that. They don't link. I'm missing something. I'm missing information and I don't know what. Ah, right. The lady is back to talk to Mr. Statler once more. So let's see what we can get out of this. Oh, I flicked over to this one here. The finance man. Because that's popped up and we're probably getting some better stuff. Of course, I prepared the balance sheet. Why wouldn't I have them ready on time? Yeah, he's got lots of graphs with wibbly lines, which would imply that he's uh, something to do with financing stuff. You know, there's uh, wibbly lines obviously means money. A bit more tired lately, to tell the truth. A lot going on last night. Mr. Statler is saying he's always lived in that neighbourhood. Stay up late working. I was under my commitments, as you know. Okay, so he stayed up late. He wasn't up late. Uh, uh, the best professional at a low cost price. That's my slogan, my motto, my goal. Okay. Uh, right, are you going to say anything else useful? Are you going to say anything else useful that we need to tick on? No, of course, yawn. So he's tired. He's tired. Mr. Statler is kicking the lady out. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay. That was not particularly useful at all. <laughs> that was of no use in any way, shape or form. Balance and bankruptcy. That didn't really help at all. So he's a banker, a financial advisor, or a mathematician. I would say he's a financial advisor off the top of that. But um, yeah, I've not really got I've not really got anything in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and watch Mr. Statter late at night and see what else he does. Routine observation in cage 8. In which town is cage 8 located? Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Which one was it? That's, no, that's cage 8 there. Uh, Browning Fields. It was in Browning Fields because that's where that map marker thing is. So, yes, we'll have that, please. Thank you very much. Yes, there. Um, uh, that. Reply. I want to reply with Browning Fields, please. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, verify the information. I think that's probably right. Right, he's got up and gone. I think to click on in that room right now. Huzzah! I got $75. That is very welcome indeed. Thank you very much. Might as well delete that email. Also, we might as well delete that one as well. There's probably loads more in there we could delete. Okay, so this guy is not around. 
So this guy here, Mr. Finance Advisor, banking person, whatever he is, is no longer around. Uh, he's coming back in, but he's just sitting down at his computer just doing very frantic typing. Uh, oh, hang on. No, he's not. He's gone into the middle. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Yeah, sure, I have the audit results for your company. Okay. Audit results. He's not a mathematician. They're totally reliable, as always. Your and my recommendation, you need to control your expenses. Okay. So he's telling him what to do. I seem tired. Well, it's that I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Why is that? What are you doing? Are you being naughty? Lots of work. I also have some important decisions to make. Right. And they keep me up at night. Okay. I think I need some good advice. Yawn, but don't worry. Okay. Is he done? Oh, now Mr. Statler's coming back. You know me, the best professional at a low price. Bibbly bobbly boo. Right. There's Mr. Statler. What does that do? Left click to start recording. Yes, absolutely. Just do a recording thing because I don't know what it does. And, um, yeah, we're recording everything. Of course, the phrase sounds familiar to you. It's a slogan in my professional article. I'm kind of flicking between the two. Fine, see you later. I don't think we could get anything out of him talking to her. I think it's late on. I think it's late on when he's going to watch something on the telly that we might reveal something else about him. Other than that, I don't fully understand what else we're doing with him right now. Okay, so I'm doing some searching on the finance thing. I've just put loads and loads of combinations in. So that finances has come up down into here. So we can do finances, debts. Okay, so that's just basic sort of economic stuff. Right, Mr. Man did go and watch his film pretty quickly after she gone. Because, you know, he's an old guy. He's an old guy. And he is going to want to uh, get go to bed nice and early. So that's left click to start recording. Did I not record that? I thought I'd recorded that. So we're going to start recording this, are we? Okay, and what's the man in the corner doing? Why can't I flick to the one in the corner then? Yes, hello. Can we record that? You again. I told you not to call me at the office. Oh, scandal. Scandal is going to happen. Yes, absolutely. Talk quicker because Mr. Thingo. Uh, and don't call me by my stage name. <gasps> oh, you've got a stage name. What's going on? What do you mean you need more money? I'm paying you what we agreed. Okay. Right, Statler is... Oh, he's going to watch a video. I need to watch that. You really should impress me. You know that I do not tolerate blackmail. I do not tolerate it. Flick in between the two. Oh, oh is that the recording? That might be the recording. Anyway, where are my casting calls? Where are my auditions? I need to leave this dreary life behind once and for all. Ah, he's like an actor person that's doing this just to get some monies. You promised me a star, a legend, so get moving. Okay, that's fascinating. Right, okay, so he is... Like a, a failed start. Remember, absolute confidentiality. Okay. Uh, such a black moustache. Uh, double life. Okay. This is this is very intriguing. He's got a double life. Right you are, idiot. That's just the same sort of stuff. Inferior race and all that kind of nonsense. Okay. What can we piece together from that then? Stage name. Double life stage name. Double life. Just search for double life. Dramas with double life. Okay. What can we find with you? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. I was just going to give up the search, but he has appeared in... Who is that? Man with wig? Man with... He's singing. He's singing into the thing. Okay. Oh, how my audience adores me. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to do one more song. The She-Wolf of Wall Street. Okay. So I had to watch late into the night for you to do this. That's why you're so tired. That's why you're so tired. Because you're doing all this nonsense. Okay. Right. This sort of makes sense. Right, so he's doing some singing. He's doing some singing. La di da. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Can we can we do some of this matching stuff while you're there? So the she wolf of Wall Street. Can we search for that? Two investors devoured in the stock market building. The tragedy took place during a performance sponsored by the Animal Crackers Corporation. <laughs> what? Five years ago, during a moment of distraction on the part of the trainers, a female wolf tame leapt into the audience, killing two shareholders. Uh, okay. I guess we can believe the She Wolf of Wall Street. No more encores. Ciao, ciao. Okay, so you're now departing. The disco ball will presumably go back up into the ceiling somewhere. And that's that done, is it? How very intriguing. Okay. Um, 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 she Wolf of Wall Street, double life. She Wolf of Wall Street, man with wig. Man with wig. Just search for man with wig. No, that's a that's a that's a piece of art. And uh, I just went all blurry then. Why is that? Oh, because I'm tired. She Wolf of Wall Street financial advisor. She Wolf of Wall Street bankruptcy. 
Uh, stage name, She Wolf of Wall Street. Nothing. Double Life Financial Advisor? No. Okay. Uh, right, let's go over here. I might need to have a sleep. I might need to have a sleep. Let's open the fridge. I've got pizza. So I can have a pizza. That sorts my hunger out. That and that'll sort some more stuff out. Now I'm just really, really tired. I've got money to pay the landlady. That's fine. Uh, what time is it now? What time is it? Two. So it's coming to three in the morning. Let's have uh, five hours sleep. So five hours sleep. And let's see what happens. So we should pass our evaluation at this point. We should pass our evaluation. There we go. Tiredness is back up. Health is okay. Hunger is okay. It's all looking pretty good. And it's eight o'clock. So an hour's time, we're going to see what happens uh, when we get to our evaluation with whatever we're called. The Primate Observation Club. That's the one. Okay, and there we go. What are we getting to? When you reach day six, the authorities decide to shut down your game because, uh, well, you know, it is a demo of Do Not Feed the Monkeys and not the full game. <laughs> so it has to finish sometime. Okay, after a record size fell and on our agent's advice, Ashley Applegate turned to eroticism in her career. Okay, becoming the main character in her own reality TV show. <laughs> Okie doke, right? And um, the Central Museum fired Kevin Elgin after the scandal over the switch of the bust of the Pharaoh, blah, 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 five. He's currently the director of the National Painting Gallery, where he continues to be the subject of controversy and suspicion. Okay, and continue. And there we go. Okay, so it ends. So it ends when you get your first review. How intriguing. How very intriguing. And we met a few of these people. We met you. You were the old man who I couldn't quite suss out. I couldn't quite sort of work out what he was doing. You as well. The She-Wolf of Wall Street. You were in there as well. That was very cool. Who else did we see? Where was Applegate Lady? Is she around? There's the devils at the back there. <laughs> What's going on there? And there's a stag with a but what looks like a bow tie. I'm sure it's not. And a little kind of crazy thing down here. There's a chicken. That's probably like a killer chicken or something. There's another chicken. That's probably another killer chicken. There's an angry dog. Ah, there's the lady who's taking the pictures. You were taking the pictures. Oh, so it's all the people we're sort of watching, not their targets and stuff. Okay, well, there we go. That was fascinating. What was the story behind him? What was the story behind him? How very intriguing. I couldn't figure out how to work out where you lived. I could not figure that out at all. I could not figure that out. I don't know how we sort of uh, would have acquired that information with what we had. Maybe one of you watching sort of either has seen how to do that or you could see on the screen very obviously that I'd missed something, which is very likely. But if you uh, did, if you did know that and you can figure out his story a bit more, please do let me know because I am intrigued. I am intrigued with that. But that, that is a lot of fun. That is very unusual. I've never played a game like that. And I am possibly going to have to dip into that at the full version on a full version. I don't know if it's going to early access or whatever, but whatever the case, whatever the case, I'm going to look into that more when it is actually a full game because that is very, very good. It's very intriguing and I quite like it. I like the fact that it is obviously very silly. It's tongue in cheek. Like this guy, I'm fairly certain he's supposed to be Hitler. There's a devil at the back there. There's some, I don't know, some sort of sensei guy with a ludicrous white beard just there. So yeah, I like the fact that it's tongue-in-cheek. The graphics work very well for it. It's very good. It's you know fairly straightforward to play. And it's not just looking at the cameras. I like the fact that you have life stuff happening as well. So, you know, you order your pizzas and your landlady wants to talk to you at the door. And then you have to, you know, go to the shops and that sort of stuff as well. So that adds a nice extra sort of element of sort of timekeeping and all that kind of stuff in as well. But yeah, there you go. Do not feed the monkeys. Very, very interesting indeed. If you did enjoy that, and I really hope you did because I thoroughly enjoy playing through that, then uh, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other things that we get up to. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Zombie, kill, kill it, kill it, bash it in the head. How do I pick the chairs up again? I've forgotten. Ah, like that. Oh, good shot, sir. I know your brain's there. Could you... Oh, sorry, I've just stood on your brain. Fuel in the toilet, yep. Biofuel, I suppose. Oh, 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 I should, should not have done that. Go and wrestle the moose. Why not? I don't think I've ever said that before to anyone ever.